How was school today? Yeah. Nice. You guys want to go get ice cream? Yes. yes. Oh. What have you guys been doing with your dad now that the season's over? Uh, a lot. Killing. He's been on his phone. <laughs> How do you think the team season went this year? The one thing I was looking from last year was a little more consistency this year. At times we've shown that and showed some maturity, but just with the amount of injuries and our lineup changing and depleting every night, it seemed like, it was really hard to work on things. We've worked hard. It's not from a lack of effort. It's just maybe not quite ready to perform at that level. They understand what we need to do to get better. The kids have bought in. The older guys have been dynamite, especially on the decor too with Murph and Seth. They've done a wonderful job with these kids. You have to have some great veterans to lead these guys and, and put them in the direction. And I think they got to demand more from each other and themselves. As the season comes to a close, the Blackhawks identified key leaders who will be counted on to help create a new culture in Chicago. Nick is that guy. Hi. You need a character like Nick in the room. Every team needs it and he knows that but it is him. What happens when you're best looking, they have the camera on you at all times. I love our group, but I think he just ignites it and brings it to life. Nice shot! God, what a great shot! That's a great shot twist. D to D, D to D around the net, hit me coming over. Yeah, Joey's gonna go back, TJ's gonna go back door. D to D, hit Joey coming around behind the net. I'm gonna pop out or hit Joey. Nick's had a huge influence, and I know a lot of the players will go to him if they're having problems, or should I go say something to the coach, or who should I talk to? Yeah, the biggest thing is like, you want to draw a guy to you, but then you want to be able to give the other guy room to make a play, yeah. Nice plays. I like when we move. So what if Jonesy's down low, right? That's great. Just play, all, I just like that we move. Like, Jonesy goes down low, who cares? Excited for this organization to have them back for an extra couple of years here. Save your energy, guys. Back to back. New parents Jason and Alandra Dickinson will also be staying in Chicago. A two year contract extension provides some stability as their family grows. How has it been being first time parents? I think it's been more fun than hard or difficult. Yeah. I feel like it's been a lot easier in a lot of senses than I expected. Um, nobody gave me great detail. I don't know about you, yeah. but. No one really prepares you for the good times. And I feel like I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm like, this is too easy. You know, things <laughs> are going too well, but yeah, it's been easier than expected. She was such a good sleeper from the beginning. Yeah. That like, that kind of alleviated a lot of our stress and anxieties. If you're well rested, even if she has a bad day, it's way easier to manage. Yeah. It's like the sleep deprivation that makes it the hardest. And we've been super lucky, knock on wood, that we haven't really had to deal with any of that yet. When things aren't going well, when it's a bad game, I leave the game and I go into the family room and she's sitting there and she's smiling and she's happy. So it's like, that game didn't matter all of a sudden. And I'm, I'm happy to go home now. And, I'm not letting the game fester. I'm not letting it sit there and <laughs> bug me because I get to come home and she does this all day and is just happy. How much have you loved seeing her become a mom? She's a natural. It seemed like she picked it up right away and it's been really cool. And uh, yeah. the more they grow, the more special it'll be. Um, she's growing a little personality and uh, <laughs> seeing that grow is going to be fun. It's been a great change in perspective, for sure. <laughs> Two years of a little continuity for us and a place we can call home is, is huge for us as a family. It makes things a lot easier for us. We can kind of settle into a routine and get real comfortable and acclimated and make sure 
the home life is taken care of because that all bodes well for the hockey, you know. I appreciate being wanted, having management that wants you to be around and help drive things forward, help build something for the future. How do you keep the younger group so encouraged? Yeah, I think trying to get them to realize that the NHL is a privilege and that some of the guys haven't really tasted the minors, that this isn't forever what we're going through right now, that although it's a, a struggle, there is light at the end of the tunnel and that the playoffs are worth every sacrifice and every struggle to get there because there's nothing that compares. Like once you get to the playoffs, it is the best time of the year. So I think trying to get them to realize that there is a way out of this and it's with them. They're the guys that are gonna have to get through it and we're the guys that are gonna try to help them learn how to. I'm feeling so out of touch. Isn't um, it crazy though, like that we're old? I know, <laughs> like, it's hard to that we feel believe. Old. Like, I feel old amongst the kids there because everything is different like all the stuff they're doing now they're they're texting over snapchat they're on tiktok instead of instagram <laughs> it's also crazy because like it literally feels like yesterday that like you were the rookie and we were the young couple and yeah. now i'm like he's a veteran i'm like a veteran wife you know like it's just crazy how fast time goes and especially now being a mom Time is flying not only for the Dickinson family, but also for rookie forward Frank Nazar. Eager to start his professional career, Nazar signs a three-year contract and he hopes to be a major asset on the Blackhawks roster. Good morning. Frank. Good morning. Great, how are you? Thank you so much. How you doing? Frank, nice to meet you. Frank, nice to meet you. Thank you. How you doing? Good. Frank. Nice to meet you. Frank, how are you, brother? Hey, good, good to see you. Yeah, how was the year? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I watched the last game. Tough, but yeah. yeah. This is my first time being here. Really? Yeah. You been for you anything. been here? No. That's kind of wild, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is crazy. This is good, eh? It's so wild. much history here. It's crazy. It looks so weird when there's not a lot of like going <laughs> here. Yeah. You could see that creativity in his game shining through that he didn't necessarily get to test in a full season in his freshman year. So coming into the sophomore year and, and really playing with the puck and playing offensive minutes and then also taking some defensive responsibility too at the center position was crucial for him. And you've seen him have an excellent year with a great team in Michigan and then also a World Junior Championship as well. I saw him play a couple of times in, in the playoffs in college here and uh, he looked great and obviously a little bit at the World Junior. So a uh, complete kind of player, uh, looks very uh, intelligent out there and good positional and has the ability to make big plays. We're hoping to see what kind of transition he can bring here to the NHL. Do whatever is necessary in your game to give us the best game you have. That's what we need. Focus on your shift. You're not getting a shot, you're getting a bump. Understood? Every guy gets a hit in the first period, we're golden. You don't want to see any more of this passing up opportunity to shoot. Drop your shoulder, bring it to the net. So let's be the ones that initiate today. Veterans like Dickinson and Nick Foligno can provide guidance for a player in his first game. Yeah, Raza, let's go here, Red right, eh? Set the tone early, come on. It's been incredibly overwhelming, exciting. We literally came back from Minnesota from the Frozen Four. We had a meeting at like five o'clock at night and we had about 24 hours for Frankie to decide if he wanted to go back to school or become a Chicago Blackhawk. And how about this? Frank Nazar, 24 hours after signing his pro contract, takes the opening face-off in his NHL debut. <laughs> Hey, if one of you guys are back first. Yeah, yeah, I hear you calling. 
telling me to go, I like that. That way if it gets pumped back, I've already got pressure, then you can come across as F3. If they if they get the puck in like a in a breakout situation. A one-timer by Drury is stopped by Marazic, and here come the Hawks the other way. Three on two led by Jones, put it in over the line. Days are down the slot, shoots the score! Great little feed by Seth Jones. Nazar goes in and he just fires it on the blocker side, beats the goaltender. Hey, Frank A. Hey, congrats, buddy. Awesome. Okay, that was crazy. <laughs> that was not expected. I mean, not I, I first shot, first goal, first NHL game. Completely unexpected, but um, very exciting. I think I blacked out for a second, so I'm excited to watch it again on video. Why is this guy jumping in for that? He shouldn't be able to get this puck. A little change, a switch. Shifting over from his usual spot at center, Dickinson is playing on Nazar's wing, a decision meant to support the young player. Holy get in that lane. The versatility, experience, and leadership provided by veterans is crucial. Passing down knowledge and a few tricks to a young core. Get out, get out, get out. I got low, I got low. Time, time, time. I feel like I should tell you in that way, that guy that jumps up on me, you're just blowing right by, I can just give it to you, my bad. The block. Get top, get top, top, walk, walk, walk. This is the last home game of the season. They're out standing over the center ice circle and raise their sticks as one to salute these wonderful Blackhawk fans, the best fans in the National Hockey League. After wrapping up their home slate, the Blackhawks have one final trip out west, looking to end the year on a positive note in Los Angeles against the Kings. For Nazar, it's a little taste of life on the road in the NHL. Is this where the Clippers play? Actually? Dude, LeBron's been out here. LeBron. LeBron. Yeah, yeah! Just tricked the goalie and scored. You or Slice? Slice. Trip from Cal over here. <laughs> Game, we'll start doing video together consistently. I just okay. wanted to let you get some games under your belt. Yeah. You got enough <laughs> stuff coming your way. I know it's, and... it's so crazy. It's like I already did the last practice, like last game. Like it's crazy how like kind of kind of flew by. The Hawks look to finish the season strong and give the fans even more hope for the future. Keep your feet moving, keep the puck moving. Don't let them pin you. Just remember that neutral zone, that 1-3-1, we gotta have speed through there. Don't be afraid to rip that puck up hard, D. All right, let's go after it and finish off strong here. Let's go. Come on, let's shoot pucks here, let's go. Lucas Reichel with a step on the loose puck. Reichel, he scores! Gives the Hawks a one nothing lead. Good execution, good execution. Make fucking hard plays, nothing lateral soft here. What are the scoring chances? What are the chances? Uh, 14 to 5. 
Let's make it hurt here for 20 minutes. Power get us on the board, and let's go after it here and go up. Joey Anderson, backhand score! We have a tie game. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's go attack, let's go. Now it's end whistle to the net, redirect, score! And the Hawks have the lead. Yeah. Oh, Get that puck, keep it. It's gotta be a great A chance. Joined by Adrian Kempe and Vladislav Gavrikov, the defenseman, and Kempe right to work in OT. Kempe shoots and scores. It took six seconds of overtime. That's a tough one, guys, but I, I thought that was pretty good character. I thought the way we played in the third period. You know what I mean? We're moving forward with uh, experiences that we had this year. So, you know, good job in the third. Uh, you know, when you get to overtime, you never know. They got the bounce. All right, so be proud of that third period. The results in the win column, while well, they haven't been ideal, but the season had its bright spots. There is still plenty to learn from and work towards this offseason. Team success, I think that's something that we really have to, to hammer home here. More explosive probably, and a little stronger. The frustration it brings can lead into fuel to use for the offseason. You just gotta figure out a way to, to show up and perform every day. You wanna help the team win, so. What you dream of growing up. I'm proud to be here, and I see a lot of hope and excitement, and I'm, I'm encouraged about that, that you know there is a path forward, and, and we're gonna you know push this. We experienced a lot of pain and losses, and you do get a favorable draft slot because of that. But looking forward, we can't do something that's going to, you know, um, eventually down the road hurt us. I think we still have to have some patience. I approach every game like I'm going to win it. And, uh, you know, whether it's unrealistic or not, uh, in my mind, I think we can win any night in this league. But can we do it every night is the question. Probably not right now with the way we ended, but uh, that's where I want to get closer to next year. With this year coming to a close, Felino is already looking towards next season, emphasizing that progress is needed for the Blackhawks, but they've got to do it together. Proud of the guys and the way we worked through some adversity this year and you know, and got to know each other really well, and now it's time to take a step. Now it's time to really hunker down and become the Chicago Blackhawks and what we're envisioning being and, and how that's going to look. I want to see us play meaningful games some of our core players you know, being solidified and, and Jason Dickinson and, um, and, and Peter Mrazek. And so I think there's a lot of great things. And I think there's also moments where, you know, it kind of left you wanting more even as a player where there was still another step I think we could have got. How was school today? Yeah. Nice. No, no stories yet? Nothing? Not hi dad, so good to see you dad. You're the best dad. None of those, eh? So how was school today? Good. Yeah? Did we learn? Did we get smarter? No. Mm. Yeah, no. What? My brain hurts. Why do we even go there? Okay, we're going for ice cream. Yeah! <laughs> Hold on, I gotta pay for parking. I'll do it. Oh yeah, you like doing it. Here. How much minutes, Dad? Just like maybe 30. 32. Oh, okay, 32. Just more money, sure. All right, you guys ready? Hold my hand, please. Hey, Dad, can we have two scoops? No. Absolutely not. No, like one of each animal. No. no. You're getting one animal. One animal. I know one animal, but two flavors. No. <laughs> Marshmallow fluff might be a little bit too much, buddy. I think the Rocky Way would be your best bet. That's, that's the Rocky Way that you were thinking about. I'll take the Rocky Way, please. What up? That's my son. How much have you guys liked living in Chicago? I love it. You like your school? I have a lot of best friends. Eight? Nine. Will you guys say thank you? Thank you. A little louder than that, no? Thank you. Home is Chicago now. Yep. We love it. Whoa, this looks like a really fun part. Oh, cool. I'm gonna go down that really big slide right there, okay? While players head home for the summer, Felino and his family stay back as his three kids finish up the school year. Yeah. 
The family is starting to love Chicago and is grateful to plant roots for the next couple of seasons. <laughs> I just want to see us move the needle uh, as an organization. That excites everybody because this market, when it's a winning market, I've seen it, I've played against it, and it's special. And I want to be a part of that. And I want, I want to see us get to that point where we can have that relationship again with our fans, where they come into the UC packet every night, knowing they're going to get a hard-fought game and uh, and a win, hopefully. You did a good job. Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fast for an old guy. <laughs> I'm really excited about that opportunity and appreciative to the, the Wirtz family, to Kyle Davidson and, um, and the management that, that they feel strong enough for, for my leadership and, and what I bring and, and feel that that's gonna help this team move forward and that's what we're trying to do. All right, good job. Good job, team. Okay. Time to go. As the offseason continues, all eyes are on the 2024 NHL Draft Lottery. The Blackhawks have the second best odds of winning the number one spot. Some may think the nerves are back for a second straight year, but for general manager Kyle Davidson, it felt like a normal day. It was good. Just got up, dropped daughter off at daycare, and then went to breakfast and, and Pilates with my wife. Do you feel nervous at all or no? No, no. not nervous at all. I was more nervous last year. Ready to go? Davidson will spend the next 30 minutes sitting in front of a camera, waiting to find out where the team will select this June. Same shirt, same. I even looked, I was like, light buttons, because I got one with darker buttons. Ready to go yep. right now. Feels like a little lucky. <laughs> we'll see. These are the odds. Because last year I didn't have it, and I just was curious. The first overall selection in the 2024 NHL Draft belongs to the San Jose Sharks. Number two, Chicago Blackhawks. So awesome. There it is. Jubilation. That's great. To pick that high in the draft, you know, there's, there's pain that goes into ending up at that point. But as we sit here now at number two overall, there's going to be a huge reward. Uh, and so um, we're really excited about the player that we're going to get. And it's going to be a foundational piece. Number two is a win. We're really excited about that. And, and to you know, not fall and, and just kind of hold serve and hold place, is, it's a win. That's what you think of as building the teams and talking hockey players and trying to put the roster together and really build something special. And, and I think we've got a really good opportunity to add to what is already a, a pretty special group. Thank you for watching this episode of Every Shift. And don't forget to go to Every Shift playlist to check out more videos. And don't forget also to subscribe for more Blackhawks content.